Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Tell by the title, things are gonna get a little serious. And if you don't want to hear the stuff going on in our current situation, I would like for you to click off this video and come back next week when we have a better video for you. I don't want anyone to be upset, to be triggered, or to be just simply uncomfortable. I need this video to be serious, I need to put a point down, and I need people to actually take me seriously. So, again, if you can't handle, or don't want to handle, or don't care, or just are uncomfortably upset, please click off this video. I do not want to get in trouble for something I have no control over. So... Before we get started, I would love for you guys to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, hit the bell icon if I see when a new video comes up while it's during the fire fam. Um, hit the like button if you agree. Comment down below what you think. And give your opinion because I love hearing your guys' opinion and advice. So, we're getting down to the real stuff. The current situation for most people, first it was women's rights, um, and then again another thing that's coming is gay rights, LGBTQ plus rights, trans rights, and I will get to the that after everything else. Okay, so the Women's Rights Act, it's uh, Roe Ro versus Wade, and it is a landmark decision of the U.S. Supreme Court in which the court ruled that the Constitution of the United States is generally protected by a pregnant woman's liberty to choose ha to have an abortion. So we, and as the Constitution... And as that being the fact that it was overturned, we're not allowed to control what we do with our body if we get pregnant. Accidentally or on purpose. Or if it was just... Most of the time it's on accident, it's not on purpose or anything. Or if a person... It, I'll go to examples at the end because it's... There's a couple and it seems to be the most thing that needs to be... It focused on so I'll focus on it at the end um so being the fact that the Supreme Court overturned um Roe vs Wade uh meant that we're kind of screwed in country in the United States we're not allowed to have abortions or whether the circumstance is good or bad um, so the Supreme Court is, um, made by the president, and our president, Joe Biden, did not, um, form this Supreme Court group. He, it was Trump that supported, or that created it, so it's not really Joe Biden's fault. It's not anything he chose. It's not like he was like, oh, this needs to happen. It was out of his hands, and he's also outraged by this whole situation. So it's not like any of this, any of this was a made decision by him. He's just outraged as everybody else is. Um, the Supreme Court handles jurisdiction of the United States federal court. Uh, cases as well as over state court cases that involve a point of federal law. Um, my mother tried to explain that to me to a point where I could get it, but I it's just important things happen, important cases happen, and it's not like all the time that the I think my parents turn on the air conditioning. Sorry about that. Um, it's not like the um. Supreme Court takes all cases, it's just they take some, and some are more important than others, like, um, certain, um, 
like certain like stuff I, it's I'm not really smart enough to like explain the concept of the federal gazes but it's more of like saying my mom gave me an example where like if a serial killer kidnaps a woman tortures her for three days and then kills her that's considered a federal case that the Supreme Court would be ingested of in ruling and creating to a decision um, that's the only way I can think of that she explained it I can't really I am so sorry I tried really hard to get information but there's just some things I just don't understand and it's not my um, my my comfort of information like we all have a special subject that we attach to and we know most about and this is just not my one it's my mom's and it's just not me <laughs> but anyways um I feel like being the fact that that was chosen in a in a way where it just it doesn't seem right I don't think it was very very thought out and being the fact that Trump created the Supreme Court there's a good enough reason that that was raised by people that he has the same opinion as him basically that's what I'm thinking um also Joe Biden the president Joe Biden can overturn or yeah overturn the decision and go to the um congress and ask the congress i have overturned this decision i do not agree with it i am the current president can you guys make an official vote and decide whether this should go through or shouldn't but being the fact that joe biden didn't really do any of that it seems a little bit more like if he was so enraged by the decision why didn't he do this like why didn't he like why did it seem like he gave up like he didn't agree and he just gave up on trying to fix it and just was like well it's out of my hands when really it's not out of his hands he just needs to go to the congress about it um and basically say hey i, I don't agree with this decision can you take a vote and if they vote yes this stays then then it would stay but if it vote no it could go back to the way it was i just don't think joe biden tried very hard to make this at, at least a, an effort to try um so sorry i'm i have my computer screen open I wrote notes and I am basing off my notes um, so since it's being now overturned there are certain states that are banned for abortion and um, any type of abortion related stuff and there's some states that are still uh, safe and still can be used as safe haven um, I have those, that list right here. Um, so I'm going to tell you the states that are free and you can go and find a place to, um, basically they're saying there's like campsites you can stay at and there's places that will help. Um, I don't know if everything on the free states do that, but, um, most likely half of them do. Um, so don't worry. There's also uncertain states, meaning they don't really, haven't really decided whether they agree upon it or not. So I wouldn't really go to them, but I will list them just in case. I will also put them in the description box below so that you could see them for yourself and you can, um, see what's close to you. Um, okay, so there's Washington, Oregon, Maryland. I'm probably saying that wrong by all formats. Um, California is where I live. 
so it's a safe. Um, there's multiple people that are willing to help. I have a couple friends that are willing to help. Um, Delaware, Nevada, New Jersey, Alaska, Connecticut, Colorado, New Mexico, of course, <laughs> Hawaii, Minnesota, Illinois, New York, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. So, uh, I'm going to list the not the uncertain. I'll list them. I'll list them. Okay, the uncertain are Montana, Nebraska, Kansas, Wisconsin. Oh, that was a tongue twister. Uh, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Virginia. North Carolina. Um, the ones that I will put on the description bar are the free and the other ones uncertain just to be safe. Um, just because I feel like most people would put a map and be like this is this, this but I feel like saying it and then putting it in the description box below will help you understand and help you know where to go without hesitation. Um, Okay, next topic. Okay. Oh, sorry. I got an itch. I will not be celebrating 4th of July this year. Because this holiday stands for independence and equality. But as women and as transgender people and... Or, yeah, transgender. And LGBTQ, we are We don't have... We don't have those independence and equality. We're being treated differently because of something that we feel like we should be in control of. Um, but as women, uh, don't we as women don't have it because we can't choose what we do with our bodies, our own bodies. We are being controlled by other people. So no, I will not be celebrating our country there's no point there really isn't if it's so much of our country why are we treated differently why are we treated like garbage and then told one thing and then done the next like sorry i don't know if you know my bad uh i'm not gonna celebrate something that just i don't think seems fair our family doesn't celebrate fourth of july as much as we used to when we were growing up as not as much as we used to when we were kids but that does not mean that we don't do a barbecue or have a cookout not really a cookout it's more like a barbecue for us and our family and we drink eat, drink and hang out and chill i'm not gonna do that i'm probably gonna sleep through the whole idea of fourth of july it the fourth of july is a monday I have therapy the next day. There is no point in wearing myself out and changing what I normally do because of a holiday that I don't even think is necessarily or positively unfair enough in the world. Like, it's not fair. It's not cool. It's not right. It's not. It's just not. I'm not celebrating it. I don't know why I have to justify the fact to people of, oh, I'm not celebrating and this is why. If I don't celebrate, it's my choice. It's just the same thing with all the other holidays in the world. But this one is more important. And if you aren't celebrating 4th of July also, wear, um, people were saying wear, don't wear red, white, and blue. Wear black purple, green, because it has like a symbolization behind it all, meaning that you are a beginner or you are fighting for what you need and you are a woman. Basically, that's what it is. Um, uh, I have a very strong opinion about this should not be happening again. Um, banning abortions is like going back to the 1920s, even further than that. 
and taking people to jail for having the right to choose whether they want to have a baby or not or a boy or not they have a choice we have a choice it's our body so don't stay silent let your voice be heard on all platforms in person and protest if you protest be safe wear guards goggles just do what you can to stay safe don't get arrested either so my body my choice my right it shouldn't be anybody else's and my cards should not be on somebody else's hands because they think that we don't have control or the right to use them. Um, there's a couple examples. I gotta sneeze. Snap. <coughs> I'm so sorry. I don't like that. <laughs> um, so... Don't stay silent. Make sure you make your voice heard and known. And be rebel, but don't be dangerous. Don't be stupid rebel. There's multiple signs of rebel, and be the positive one. Because standing your ground is always the best option. Okay, so I have a couple of examples. Um, okay, so let's say someone gets pregnant. They wanted to keep the child. But because medical something medical came up the it was either the baby or the mom and being the fact that the government and the world and the United States and the Supreme Court said no no abortions no none of that and you're basically sacrificing a mother's life for a child. What if that mother is a lawyer, a doctor, a teacher, or a person? You just think that because you don't like something that you could just forget all the like risks that come with it? Um, so let's say a child gets raped and she ends up getting pregnant she since she can't get an abortion she uh goes away all through term but because she is a child and her body isn't fully developed she dies and the baby makes it but she dies because she couldn't her body couldn't handle it just she couldn't handle it you're losing another child to bring another child in the world that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It might as well save the real child over something she could not control. She was just walking home from school or playing in the park and she got snatched and raped. And then you guys just, oh, well, she's a woman, can't, can't have an abortion. That's a choice. That's a choice you don't have anymore. And she dies. That's on you. That's that's blood on your hands. Literally blood on your hands. To kill a child to get a child. And people don't think when you get raped and a woman has to deal with the mental, the physical, and the emotional trauma they will go through because they either have to keep the child or puts it up for adoption and feels guilty later because she got put in a situation where she couldn't get out of or a man couldn't control herself so he had to forcibly rape a woman it has nothing to do with the clothes we wear or the way we look it has to do with guys that can't keep it in their pants. And the fact is, guys are more hated on this and agree, Yeah, abortion should be banned. They're only doing that because they're probably fathers that don't stick around when a woman gets pregnant. They're probably the ones that leave and never come back. It's them that are the ones that are rooting for this. And it isn't fair, it isn't cool, it ain't right. Because us women... She have a choice 
not be forced against our own will to keep something we don't want. What? Half of us get pregnant. We don't even do it on purpose. We just, it happens. Things happen and we have no control over them. I read something in a story recently. A 14 year old girl was raped. She basically died because her body couldn't handle the baby and she died at 14 the exact well, the exact example i just gave do you guys not see that you're risking everyone's lives for your stupid decision because you think that it's the right one in reality it's never been the right one could not possibly understand us because you aren't us. LGBTQ, I'm so sorry you are being put into this situation as well. You guys have just gotten your rights and now you're being taken from you. I'm part of that LGBTQ community. I am bisexual. I, like if you tell, saw my story in my last video, I, I, what if I want to marry a woman? I won't be able to because my rights will be taken from me. So I will be a woman forced to have children and marry a man that probably beats me and have to just accept it. That's just it. That's the end of the world. That's just the decision. And that's too bad. You know what's too bad? Is that half the Supreme Court are all men except one woman. And this one woman is probably married and thinks that, oh, having kids is good. You know, there's people that are too old and they get raped and then they have a child and they die because of their old age. They, they can't even raise the child whether they wanted it or not. You guys don't understand you, you uh, government, uh, government officials and important people and people that just are guys you don't get what you're taking from us us as human beings if it was in your shoes and you were a woman and you got your rights taken away you would be just as pissed as the rest of us because it's just not cool like people are saying that you know if this, since this is going through men should have to support the baby until they're 18 they have to deal with all the issues everything they can't run away they can't be weak they can't be little bit of pussies i'm gonna say just grow up there's a lot of things in this world and you're fighting over a really stupid one so again do you really think it's fair to let humans suffer especially children suffer because you made a stupid, a stupid fucking decision. Thinking that you could hold our cards in your hands. Think again. You just started a bigger problem. And that's why protests will never stop until it goes back. Or until Joe Biden does the right decision. Overturn. My body my choice and my fucking rights you should never had my cards in your hands ever again that's just it peace see you guys next time bye